Daredevil Season 3, Episode Number 8. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here in the next week's episode of Daredevil Last Week. Continuing on with this amazing season, we ended the episode with Matt, or Daredevil if you will, coming to talk to Agent Adim, and it seems like he's willing to listen, so... I don't know if we're going to catch Dex, but I think we're going to be able to clear Matt's name, right? Just because Dex is part of Fisk's team now, essentially, and you know Fisk, I feel like his team is pretty protected. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, he was caught before. Some of his people were exposed and whatnot, but I feel like somebody like Dex with his skills and his talents, Fisk, Fisk is not going to let him get caught. You know what I mean? So I'm excited to see what happens this week, bro. I'm excited to see if we have any more crazy fight scenes because this season has already had two of the most amazing fight scenes that I've ever seen, period. Not just in this show, but period, man. With the hallway fight scene in the jail, the 11 minute, like, one shot. And then the Daredevil, you know, the Dex Daredevil versus Matt Daredevil fight scene was another fantastic one. So, guys, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys are the next man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop into this episode. Oh, we're gonna see what happened with Dex. Okay. After, bro. This is the first time Let's he really let himself happened. loose, like, ever, right? I know, you know, you can think back to when he killed his coach, but he was a kid back then. It was different. He didn't have this skill set either. Oh, he's going back to those tapes, bro. I get it because... In that situation, yep. and now he's not hearing all that shit anymore. When he's in that scene where he was at the at the newspaper place, right? He's able to let himself go, but when he's back here, he needs to contain himself. I'm glad we're getting to see the aftermath of what he did, though, right? You know, because again, like, it, I feel bad for Dex, you know, the situation he's in. But we, we the, this show is so good at setting all its characters up to be compared, right? Because Dex, an orphan. Matt essentially an orphan too at a young age right karen we don't know the like full details of the backstory but as we saw last week her dad won't let her come over i don't know what's up with her mom i don't know if she's involved i don't know if she's passed or what but obviously she's got no family really either other than foggy and matt you know so it's like you have this situation with everybody even with fist like yeah he had his mom but he killed his dad so it's like everybody's in this situation, even if you take Fisk out of it, where they're like kind of don't they didn't really have, you know, they've been orphans in a sense, right? In one way or another. And it's like you see every single person ended up in a different spot, but also, you know, genetics and things like that do play a role in it, right? But it's cool how they set it all up and you see the different paths that somebody could have go gone down. Like Matt is just like Punisher told Matt, right? Like he's a couple, he, he's just one bad night away from being like him. If he if he took the path of killing, now he wouldn't be like Dex because Dex kills innocents and stuff. Matt, if he was killing, he would still be killing bad guys, so to speak. But man who attacked the bullets and dressed as Daredevil, he's in the FBI. Yep, he he doesn't know who to trust anymore. Okay. Look, there's Dex. It's nice to see you again. He heard the voice. That's right, he did hear the voice. Maybe he can piece it together because he's talked to Dex multiple times. I just don't know how well he knows Dex to be able to distinguish, you know, be like, that's him. Maybe there's some audio recording, right? Because they did record him when he was giving his. Oh, wow. This recorded it still. Wow. I didn't know that camera was going. I thought he turned everything off, but he just turned off the cameras that were in Fisk's room. Now he knows it's probably Dex. Like he, obviously that's not confirmation, but he, he's like, it's more than likely him. Oh shit. Dex, stay Please away from just me. hear me out. I'm doing this in public so you feel safe. I'll stay right here. I'm not coming any closer. When, when we worked together at the suicide hotline, I saw the way you were with other people. Patient, compassionate, and I, I, I really need that right now. I just want to talk anywhere you choose. And if you say no, I'll understand. I feel for him, man. I, I genuinely do. He, he's re like, this is one of the hardest things is reaching out for help. And he's, he's reaching out for help, man. He knows he's, he knows he can't control himself, man. He knows he needs her. He needs somebody, man. And I, I just, I feel for him, bro. I really do. There's one thing we agree on the team. It's the greater good. 
Like house incarceration in exchange for good intel. Sometimes you and I have to hurt one person to save another. So what's his name? I respect that man. He sees where Nadim's coming from. We're gonna slip into his place. Look for any evidence that ties him to the bulletin attack or to Fisk. If we find any, we leave it where it is. When we set off his fire alarm on our way out, the fire department arrives. And you circumvent the search warrant. But if we don't find anything, the guy goes on with his out. life. Who is he? Special Agent Ben Poindexter. Dude, I respect the dialogue there because Matt's like, I see why you guys did what you did for the greater good, even though people are shitting on you, but <sighs> it's like, damn, man. I love that. I wasn't stalking you. Although, I completely see how it could have come across that way. I just, I wanted to be more like you. Compassionate and kind and caring. Bro, the, the actor for Dex is great. Like, his mannerisms and stuff, his little details, like, he's doing a good job. I'm drowning in deep water, and I, I don't know whether I'm swimming for the surface or the bottom. Dex, wow, you need that's air. a good line. Breathe. You, you help people right themselves. I've seen you do it a hundred times. All I'm asking, just treat me like a client. someone on the other end of the line. Shows how far gone he is. The Bureau needed a scapegoat. <laughs> it was a little awkward, but a little funny. Break the ice. I'll help you, Dex. But please, do not make me regret this. I promise. Promise I will not. Excuse Probably Fisk messaging him. See, bro, he wants to do good. Is Fisk monitoring them too? He's monitoring everywhere. I don't know why I'm surprised at this point. It's fucking Fisk. I feel for Dex, dude. I know I keep saying it, but I can't stress it enough. He's just being used and manipulated, you know? It Fisk is. Fisk is giving up criminals involved in corruption. He's planning to step into the void and become the sole source of government protection for all criminals in Hell's Kitchen. Maybe the city. And that theory makes you want to not drink? Yes, because I also have a plan. No, 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 Foggy, you don't have a plan. Listen to me, do you know what happens when you make a plan? Fisk has already thought of it, and he, he's made it part of his plan. She doesn't want to be involved in this at all anymore. Committing or conspiring to commit a felony. No, 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 wait, what about number six here? Yeah, all this stuff about being charged with a crime that predates the agreement. Number six is not the no, plan. No, but we have a really good number six. Fisk killed his father, that's murder. Where's the proof? It is news if a candidate running for district attorney makes unsubstantiated claims. In a public forum, debating the incumbent DA. That's You're right. You're going debate Blake Tower? At the Hell's Kitchen Club. It's a good plan. I, I lost my job, so. What? Ellison loves you like family. What did she do? I refused to give him Daredevil's identity. Yikes. Ellison wants Fisk as badly as we do. Just tell him our plan. Watch how fast he gives you your job back. I don't know. Ellison was pissed. We never seen him that mad, man. You know what I mean? And she's not willing to give up Matt. It's a rock and a hard place, bro. Like I said, you know, it, it's it's tough. But bro, Foggy really just gonna pull up on the DA. I'm Blake. Sometimes you gotta do what hey, you gotta do, did right? Did landlord let you in? Oh my God! What the fuck? Bro, just like that? Easy as that. What the hell, bro? It's not like... Oh, dude, oh my god. I don't know why I'm surprised it's Fisk, bro, but I'm surprised, man. Holy hell. Chills. Just off Julie like that. I've, this is just so... Sh it, it's just manipulation at its finest, bro. Fisk is taking everybody away from him. That could help him. The guys took up a collection to pay for Andy's services. Now, if you're up for it, she's gonna sue the Bureau for wrongful suspension on your behalf. She can do that? I can. And mm. having reviewed the details of your case, I fully believe that I should. I don't know how to thank you. The guy that saved our lives doesn't ever have to thank us for anything. He's, look, his eyes, bro. He didn't want to look him in the eye because he knows what he did at the bulletin. It sucks because Dex is like, damn, if I would have waited one day, two days, 
you know, maybe I wouldn't have done that shit as Daredevil. Maybe Fisk wouldn't have had me. They're doing, they're only doing that, right, to get him out of his apartment. You know what I mean? But it just, it sucks because it's like if this would have happened two, three days sooner, it would have been different. Don't get me wrong. Like, he's a grown-ass man. Like, he's making his own choices. But it's also, at the end of the day, he's being manipulated by somebody and he's got some mental health issues that aren't, you know, solved completely, right? I don't see a decorated agent falling for Fisk's bullshit. Yeah, well, that's what Fisk does. Finds a weakness, hits it hard. And when you're already on your knees, you got no choice but to fall for his bullshit. Exactly. Oh, shit, I can't call a crew to crack that. Good luck getting it open. He can crack it, though, no, because he can hear when each thing clicks inside, right? Wow, bro. Insane. The suit was here. You must have moved it. You got rid of the evidence. That's the thing. This isn't vigilante style, bro. How long do you think this will take? If we do everything right, you'll be reinstated in six months. Six months? That's a but long we'll get you time. Back, hey? He can't. He needs order, dude. Oh, it sucks, man. It's like it, maybe he could have waited those six months with Julie, but now Julie's dead. And Julie's not going to reply. He's not even going to know that she's dead, bro. He's going to think she ghosted him, and it's going to make him even more mad. Wow. Fisk, or, or either Fisk or his guy took her phone, right? Damn. So he doesn't even know she's dead. He's just going to think she, that he got ghosted. Maybe, maybe, it was from, maybe it was Felix who did it because he was the one who killed her. Maybe he just had her phone, but still. Same thing. Fisk, Felix. Kittens, birds. I liked it. I think Dex is gonna notice if something's different or changed, or there's a different tape in there. I got the jump in him. I can get him to tell me where it is. <laughs> Damn, he hears them in there. Wow. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna use those, bro. Cause you know he's good at throwing shit. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming at them. Wow. Dude, he really just took that shot, huh? Bro, he's not gonna miss if you peek your head. Yep. He's, it is. he's ricocheting the bullets. Go for the front door. He's by the window. He's waiting for a better shot. He is him, bro. He's that guy. Dude, Dex is insane, man. Okay, now go, go, go. Oh, he already reloaded. Oh, shit. Bro, did he see it was Nadim? I think he saw it was him. I think he knows it was him, bro. He didn't really fully see his face, but he, he kind of saw the back of his head. Bro, oh no. I'm just, I'm always mind blown at how good Dex is. Like, look at this shit. He's throwing that glass, dude. What you gonna do, Dex? I mean, because at this point, Dex can say someone broke into his apartment, right? And he was trying to defend himself. But it's also like to stand your ground. Or not stand your ground. Oh, the, like they were fleeing. Man, this is going to be bad for Nadim, too. Because now he's got a gunshot wound. How's he explain that not only to the FBI, but to his wife? <sighs> Daredevil with the evil point painted red, man. They hate him. Because this is all on him. And it's like now she's got to bring this. How did you get up here? Oh, she's Check coming to see Fisk? As far as FBI personnel only. Hi, yeah, I'm Karen Page. I'm with the Bulletin. We know who you are. Well, I'd like to talk to him. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Under his agreement, he's entitled to speak to the press. Go ahead, call his lawyers. I'll wait. Damn. She hit him with that. I'll wait. So why aren't you talking about Wilson Fisk? Are you running for office, Mr. Tower? Or are you running away from responsibility for his situation? We've been here before, Mr. Nelson. Do you still claim to have no influence over his release from prison? To live among us here in the city again? The powers of my office are limited to state law. Wilson Fisk's situation is entirely under federal jurisdiction and- You mean crimes he's already been sentenced for? Of course. But you can prosecute for crimes he's committing right now. There are government officials who are controlled by various criminals. Ugh. What Wilson Fisk has done is to take all those criminals and turn them over to the FBI and keep all those corrupt officials for himself to work for him because when you get beyond the cold facts and really get worked up about what you're doing you can Aaron Page 
Does he know she's probably going to talk to Fisk? Does he know she's probably going that route of trying to uh, commit it or whatever for his dad's murder? It's Paige. Ooh. White suit and all. He doesn't know she killed Wesley still, right? This is, in I love this, dude. These two just talking. I'm not here to talk about your mother. I'd rather talk about what she told Ben, rather what she told us. The murder of her, his dad. I heard about your misfortune. Before it even Ooh. happened, I'm sure. Yep. Now the story knows it was him. Print is her very detailed description of your father and how you murdered him. The hammer. At that age, is there any part of you that isn't broken, I wonder? cameras is he looking at him he's trying to contain himself maybe she's trying to bait him into attacking her because the cameras are on tell me so at what point did you learn about mr murdoch's secret life Ooh. he knows he's daredevil yep yeah. he's like i got a secret of my own i'm keeping james wesley oh what was it like for you She's gonna tell him. It really, it's, it's those first 24 hours that are, the, that are the worst, aren't they? She's trying to bait him into hurting her, right? He died quickly. If you were wondering, didn't suffer much. You see, Wilson, Matt Murdock isn't the person you should be worried about. I killed Wesley. Damn! I shot because the clip ran out. He deserved more. This is what he, she wanted. She was trying to... Damn. Were they listening? What? Foggy? Think of it as a compliment. They actually Why did they thought I would try to kill him? I had to tell them something. No! Foggy, wow, you okay. You ruined it. I had him. Had him, Fisk would snap you like a twig. Well, at least they'd have it on video. That's what she was trying to do, bait him into attacking her. That was an amazing scene, bro. Fantastic acting from both. Dude, she had him. He was gonna, bro. Beautiful stuff, man. Like Fisk's face, the lip quivering, everything. Oh my gosh. The dialogue. I don't think it gets better than that, man. One of my favorite scenes in the show, I think, to be honest. Or is he gonna burn the tapes? Because Matt has one of the tapes. Oh, no. He's going to burn the tapes. This is his no turning back point once he burns these. Wow. Come with me. The fire's still burning in the back. Felix Manning coming for him. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to make it home tonight. He's hurt, bro. Uh, kiss Sammy for me. He's lying to her Love again, too. too. Lying to her again, man. Where did he get hit at, though, is the question. Ah, oh, I wonder if it went through and through. He, it's because, like, he can't even go to the hospital because he wasn't supposed to be there. So I'm like, where'd you get shot? It's got to be hard for him, right? Because Dex saved his life, but now it's like Dex has also betrayed him. You know what I mean? Boss. Nadine. Sorry to wake you. We need to talk. Ooh, is he going to tell her about Dex? I thought maybe he was going to ask her for help. I think he's going to tell her about Dex and get help from her, obviously, because at that point she'll know. I have a problem. Nadim knows. I know he does. Uh, we will take care of the problem. Rage cannot stay inside. It needs to go somewhere or it becomes a poison. It will kill you from within. I find that when this rage cannot stay buried in me for one more second, that a primal scream is the only satisfying release. He's telling him to scream, let it out. <laughs> Letting it out, man. He's giving in.
It's like he's been holding it in this whole episode all choked up, man. Wow. And that's exactly where they killed Juliet, too. It's like he had that lump in his throat the whole episode. I didn't have anyone either, but I'm nothing like him. The tapes make it sound like he was a killer at a young age. The guy's a psychopath. Yeah, that's what the therapist wrote down, psychopathic tendencies, right? Or psychotic tendencies. You kept your word to Agent Nadine. And how many people will die because of it? Music. Music too earlier in the scene with Karen and Fisk, right? The Daredevil music was playing. Shout out Sister Maggie. She hasn't been in these later episodes as much, but... Keep him from making the same damn mistake that took you from us. Mm. Our son is too much like you, Jack. Oh. What? That's... Did she... Did he hear that? So that's his mom? What? <sighs> he heard that? Bro, so that's his mom? What? Oh my god. Daredevil season 3 episode 8 is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. I don't, this whole time, did they say his mom was dead or she was just out of his life or what? Because I, I don't remember, but I think in my head I was always just thinking she was dead too. Or she was just gone from his life, you know, either or, basically, you know, pretty much the same thing. Like she either chose to leave or she was dead. That's his fucking mom, Sister Maggie? Which kind of explains, oh my god. I was gonna say, which kind of explains why she's so, like, there for him, but it's also like, you know, she is a, she is a nun, she runs this place type deal, so maybe that's why she ended up leaving him as a kid, was because she wanted to become a nun again, and maybe the life she was talking to Matt about prior is when she had him, because she said she stepped away from the nun life for a while, and maybe that was when she had him. That's his mom. When she was praying, I thought she was praying to God, not to Jack wow that's his mom and he heard that she knows he has super hearing but to what degree i don't think she realizes you know what i mean i don't think she realizes that he could hear her either that or she wants him to know i think it's the i, I think it's the first one right i don't think it's the latter i think it's that sh she doesn't realize he can hear her Oh my god, dude. They, like, bro, when shows do this, it completely takes my focus away from the rest of the episode. The rest of the episode was insane, amazing, so much shit happened, but it's like, this was just a fucking bomb at the end, and now my mind's, like, centered and focused on that. Like, that's his mom. Wow. I wonder how this is gonna change things, bro. I wonder if this is gonna make Matt mad and angry, or maybe this helps bring him back to God. Or what, dude? Oh, dude, that's this is gonna get interesting now. The, the the season three has already been amazing. There's so much shit going on. I'm so into it. But now this is gonna take it to another level. I feel, bro. Wow, that's his mom, man. Okay, okay, interesting. Rest of the episode, bro. Fisk and Karen scene, fantastic, bro. This is what I'm talking about. I said it time and time again. I say I say it during shows that have amazing dialogue scenes. I said it during Andor. I said it during this season. I said it during last season of season two. You know, with Frank and Matt on the rooftop scene. I love amazing dialogue scenes like that, bro. The Daredevil music that started playing coming in when she started talking about Wesley, beautiful, man. And just the back and forth psychological games. Who can fuck with who more? Who can push who over the edge, right? She comes in with this big bomb thinking like, oh, I'm going to get him with this. You know, I know you killed your dad at a young age and stuff. And Fisk hits with the counter. Okay, but I know Matt is Daredevil. And that threw her off her game. So she reached deep in her bag. And she pulled out the Wesley shit. And you could tell fantastic acting from both of them. But you could tell on Fisk's face like he was trying so hard to hold in that rage, bro. The quiver. Uh, everything bro he was trying so hard to hold it in and it goes back or i guess it goes forward more so rather right to what he was talking about with dex when he needs to let out that rage he screams and that's what he wanted to do then he was gonna get karen bro he was that first one the fbi agents came in and put her in handcuffs i was like damn did he have this place bugged was he waiting does he did he expect something like this but it was just because foggy needed to get her out of there right he told him that she was gonna try and kill him which obviously that wasn't the case but you know 
that was a fantastic scene one of my favorite scenes in the show not it doesn't top the frank and you know daredevil scene on the rooftop in season two i think that's my favorite dialogue scene in the show up to this point we still got a lot left not a lot but we still have a few episodes left man and this season has been nothing but straight bangers so i wouldn't be surprised if there's another amazing one that tops it but that scene was fucking beautiful man shout out to karen's actor and shout out to uh fisk's actor as well beautifully done the music was great to go with it but oh i feel so bad for dex man i really do because it's like him and matt are similar you know what i mean but it's like matt he had people that were able to guide him and keep him on track right dex not only he the thing is too dex you know he's got those psychotic tendencies the, the the psychopathic tendencies right and matt doesn't really necessarily have those as much like some people you know when it comes to their genetics and stuff they're born with certain things so it's even harder for them and dex is that case what did she also say yeah like uh borderline personality disorder or something along those lines which also fucks with them even more so it's like for him not only does he have those problems in his head but he also kind of didn't really have anybody to keep him straight he had the therapist and when she died is when things really went south started to go south but he was able to keep himself on track with the tapes and then with Julie and then with his job, you know, joining the army, then the FBI. And then now it's like he lost his job. He lost his therapist, which I know that happened prior, but still he lost his therapist and he lost his job. And then he's approached by Fisk, somebody who's like, come over here. You know, you can, you can let your true self out. Right. And who encourages those psychopathic tendencies and stuff and lets him feed into it, which obviously he's going to want to do if somebody's there to support him for it rather than pushing him away from it and he you could you, you you could tell man he wanted to stay straight he wanted to be good like when Nadim came and told him like with the with the lawyer and stuff he's like damn you guys really do have my back you guys really do care I am going to get my job back and then to realize what it was later on when he saw Nadim you know leaving his apartment and he had shot him that probably fucked with him more too and then Julie being killed now like he went there and he was really trying to reach out for help bro like that's one of the hardest things to do when you're in a situation like that is reaching out for help and he did that with julie and she was gonna help him and fist just offed her bro that shocked me bro you know what i mean that really did shock me because it's like i know this show kills people all the time they have brutal deaths and stuff but like she just pulled up in the hotel and bop it's like dude holy hell man i feel so bad for her i feel so bad for dex it just sucks man right because it's like matt he he was an orphan too but he ended up growing up with the nuns the church he had the priest there to guide him too he had his dad along the way which obviously he had lost you know kind of at a later i don't know how old dex was when his parents died but i think matt lost his dad a little bit later at a later of an age and then he had the priest there to help him and the nuns and then he had stick for a little bit as well and it's like he had people there to kind of guide him then he had foggy who he met and became best friends with and then Karen later on too. So it's like he had all these people there to help him. Whereas Dex, he only had this one person. Then she died. Then Julie kind of replaced her a little bit. And then it's like now she's gone too. But he also had his job there to keep him aligned. But he lost essentially Julie and his job at the same time. Which just completely derailed him. And once you're kind of derailed, like... It's, it's hard to get back, man. It's damn near impossible, right? Like the therapist was able to do it at a young age, but once you're older and stuff, I think it's even more hard, you know? And not only that, but who's who's gonna be there to do that? Especially with Fist pulling him out. I think he's too far gone at this point. I think this is just it, but fantastic episode, man. I, I don't know if there's much left to say about it, but I'm sad that there isn't more seasons of this, bro. There should be now i don't want to overdo it i was gonna say there should be like 10 seasons of this but sometimes the show goes on for too long it gets kind of bad there should have been more seasons of this man this is this is peak tv not just peak you know marvel stuff or peak um not just peak marvel stuff so to speak right but peak tv like i would put this in a top five show of all time daredevil season one and two were great but this right here season three I would damn near say this is on Breaking Bad level, to be honest. That's how much I love this shit and how good I think it is. Writing-wise, fight choreography-wise, music-wise, it's just beautiful, dude. And now this reveal, too, on top of everything else we already have going on, the reveal that Sister Maggie is his mom. Oh, my God, bro. I'm so excited to check out next week's episode. But, guys, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes if you guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day. 
and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, guys? I hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance, full length reactions, and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.